It's called the Canine Thunder, the latest version of this best-selling howitzer and a weapon British Army gunners could potentially be using in the future. 1,500 of these are in service worldwide, with Poland the latest buyer, ordering 672 of them. The South Korean makers are now bidding to sell this gun to the UK MOD as a replacement for the AS-90, which is due to go out of service at the end of the decade. Leading Hanwha Defence's European bid team is a former colonel in the Finnish Army. L-52 uh, gun means that it's a 8.05 metres long gun tube and uh, with regular ammunition you can fire up to 40 kilometres and then uh, with a special ammunition up to 60 to 70 kilometres depending on ammunition. Uh, it has excellent off-road capability and the capability of uh, travelling on, on roads uh, up to 70 kilometres an hour. And uh, we are developing now new version for uh, UK bid and uh, we are offering UK uh, K9 with uh, composite rubber tracks which gives you even uh, improved uh, road mobility and uh, fuel com consumption 33% uh, less and uh, less weight. You can uh, have uh, two tons more something else payload because uh, with the rubber tracks you uh, have uh, two tons less weight. And in terms of accuracy, how, how, as modern weapons, how accurate are these? Well, th these are very accurate. Uh, so this person is uh, very small and uh, if you are using uh, modern uh, ammunition like uh, with course correction fuse, so you will hit a uh, target at any range. The K9 is based around a 52 caliber 155mm gun. It has a fully automatic loading system and is manned by a crew of just three. The makers say it can fire three rounds in less than 15 seconds, with a maximum fire rate of up to eight rounds every three minutes, enabling it to shoot and scoot before the enemy has time to pinpoint its location. So far the K9 hasn't been donated to Ukraine by any of its users, but Passy says the war is creating unprecedented demand. We can uh, sell all the guns we can produce, so th there's a huge demand of new guns. So our existing customers have asked uh, for more guns and uh, uh, there, there are new customers who are asking if they could have uh, guns. No one has uh, yet given the K9s to away from our European customers, but uh, for example in Polish case uh, they, they will get lots of new K9s and uh, they already have given some of the uh, crab systems uh, to Ukraine. It, it has to be built uh, to do only one job, to be a gun, so it's a very good gun. Hamwa says its UK bid is based on providing a made in Britain version. If they won the contract, the hull, turret and drivetrain of these K9A2s would all be made here only the ordnance would be imported. The next round of bidding is expected to take place early next year. Simon Newton, Forces News, Millbrook. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.